What else? Did you see that story about the dude who... So there was a story that was going on timeline uh, probably like last week. And it was about a girl and this dude where she found out her baby daddy was gay, basically. And he was fooling around with one of his partners. Oh, I didn't see that. You didn't see that at, at all? At all, no. Oh, my goodness. Well, I feel like we've established we have very different algorithms. But this is this is gay shit. This should be on your, all over your timeline. Gay relationship shit. This is girl timeline shit. Mm-hmm. So she goes and she has this long message where they talk about it. He says, like... The dude like was standing over him one night. He didn't know what was going on. Next thing that happened, like nigga was sucking on his dick while he was sleeping, some shit. Like really wild boy shit. And then he liked it, and then he was just cool with it. They just kept doing it, and she found out about it because she like went through his text messages or something. So now they didn't broke up. These niggas is dressed up in matching Nike uh, tech suits, going on trips, catching flights and feelings. They found love in a hopeless place. This is her baby daddy. Sometimes that happens. Listen, I watch Chasing Reality um, on Houston. Chasing Reality Houston, there's three men on that show. They're, it's, a, it's a gay reality show. There's three men who have children on that show. It happens a lot, bro. We need to... <laughs> this is going to keep happening if there's such a like huge stigma around homosexuality in the black community. This has nothing to do about the stigma for homosexuality. You are a liar. You are a liar and a this cheater. This man that's probably knew is. he was gay the whole he is lying. That's all but see that's the thing. You're he you're knew focusing he was gay. You're focusing on the gayness. He the part the wrong part is he's lying and being a cheater. Well that's yeah the, that the, who he gives was a fuck a who he's doing it with. Well, I I thought that was the the part that made it go viral because if it that's was a the, woman, yeah, that's because people are homophobic. But I'm saying we being critical of what's going on it has zero to do with him being gay. A hundred percent to do with him cheating. The more interesting conversation is that, but him cheating is crazy. Also, what do you? I mean, what do you elaborate? What you mean by that? The the more interesting elaborate because he's. It's it's a DL nigga. Like you didn't just wake up to a man over you one day sucking your dick. You didn't know that you were interested in men. That's ever. literally his story. <laughs> that's literally was the nigga's story. I feel like that's a lie. <laughs> nigga said he was never looking at bro like that. He, he didn't is know lying. bro. He said I didn't know bro looked at me like that. <laughs> so both of them just never like like. He don't know what bro was on. He, okay, that was just his man. You know what I'm saying? Just because that's your so man, you don't his know. His man's was never gay. He didn't. He didn't know. I need more details. That's because, what I, oh, here we go. You want me to read some of the messages now? Yes, because if if these were two men who presented as straight the entire time and like didn't know that each other had any type of like sexual feelings towards men, and then th- this one night they just both decided to be gay together. Like, that's crazy. That's how I remember the story when I read it. <laughs> that's insane. One of them, the 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 dick sucker had to have been gay in some capacity before. Okay, I'm going to read part of the first tweet. I mean, the first message that he sent her. Okay, so it was with G, but this is how it came about. I was never on the type of time, and I was at his house, you know, on some normal homeboy type shit. Never looked at him no type way. Hey, it never even crossed my mind to do nothing with him. But this is how it happened. I was sleep on the side of the room. Uh, it was, I don't know, it's GTS on the other side. Mm-hmm. Um, and one night I woke up and he was hovering over me and I ain't think too much of it. <laughs> thought he was, <laughs> thought he was, you know, looking for a lighter or something. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up to him hovering over me a couple nights before. I knew he was doing some whole time. He was touching me in my sleep, and it started there. And I never knew he was like that the whole time he was around. The crazy thing is it turned me out because <laughs> I found out he would do I'm reading exactly how that he wrote this. this nah, we know literal. how to read, I promise you guys. And the crazy thing is he turned me out. <laughs> what? Custom to find out he been doing gay shit since high school. <laughs> he showed me people that he wouldn't even think to be on that. And that's why I came back out there. And he was like, I was jumping, telling you, don't touch me while I was asleep or whatever. I told okay, him. I got enough information. So that's basically what happened. I got enough. So he got he got, he got diddled in his sleep. The dick sucker has been doing gay shit since high school. This isn't the first gay thing he's done. That's what I was trying to clear up. 
because it can't you can't just wake up in the middle of the night one night and decide you want to suck dick tonight tonight is the night so i'm looking at their <laughs> pictures from the baby like with the baby you could tell that nigga was sweet his fade make it look like he was gay that's a gay nigga fade right there you see how I don't how I don't square up. It don't up? even it don't fade. It don't it's, square up. It's just boom boom. Like <laughs> it's not a fade. It's just like the Rick Ross. Hey, the barber didn't blend you right there, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is not. It's very drastic. The barber didn't blend my nigga at all, and it's round too. You know when like when the when the hairline round, and the sides is round. Homosexual behavior. No straight yeah. man is cutting your hair like that. You like that round brown starfish. And then look at his. And then he got the, his his thumbs up. Like you could just tell just he his, got, the way that his elbows bend. Not you, not you posing at your baby shower like. Like you could, <laughs> sir. Like he, like he just caught a Snorlax. Like <laughs> so, this is the dick sucky. That's the nigga who. That's the baby daddy who got turned out. Okay. Yeah. How much do you believe in men getting turned out? No. Like, okay, so what I'm saying, you agree with. This is a man who has been suppressing his homosexual urges. That's he's that from what he's saying, he's saying Bro, this been is on the first time. This he's saying this is his first gay sexual experience. This is not his first gay sexual experience. He done had his dick sucked by by, by another man before, that's, allegedly. That, that's a picture of them. Oh my God, y'all. We should put this up. These are two homosexuals. <laughs> they are homosexuals. I'm sorry. And I don't want to, like, I don't want to stereotype, but let, let's stereotype a little bit. They are... Fruity. They lines is the same, ain't they? They hair the lineups. Yeah. That's what I tell you. You can tell gay niggas lineup. And they look good together as a couple. They look better together than they do with these girls that they in the pictures with. Well, the girls like got, they're they're a very cute couple. You can tell those girls ain't ain't built right. So you could they was beards. You I'm, I'm waking it up. <laughs> You didn't have to say nothing. The, the girls didn't have to catch strays at all. I'm just they, saying they make a cute couple. Granted, you know what I'm saying? Look like one was fresh off the off the push out, but like I'm saying, they wouldn't out nothing to bring home. The mama. Oh my God. I just swiped to another <laughs> screenshot. He said, I'm so sorry from the bottom of my heart on my grandma I am. She said, Did you nut? He said, Yeah. Oh, that was what type of question is that? That is that is okay. So that's the part I forgot to ask you about. I had responded to that. Thinking like myself, like who ask a person? This had to be fake. That's why I thought it was fake, because I'm like, who ask no, a nigga? Did you nut? This can't be fake because who asks a nigga? Did you nut? That's a crazy question. And then, to ask and then she, he says, yes. Yeah. She says, face palm emoji. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. She, she says, off head or fucking question mark. He says fucking. So he was doing the bending. Oh my god, this is crazy. I can't believe you didn't see that. No. Oh, my God. She was six months pregnant when he was doing this? Yeah, he was out there squirreling it up. Oh, my God, girl. Oh, my. Is this in Atlanta? <laughs> I did feel like an Atlanta story. It does. They dress like Atlanta niggas, too. So I guess we can just surmise from that is that, uh, yeah, Buddy was always gay. Yeah. And that's why I was saying that this wouldn't happen uh, if no, black men was just comfortable being gay. Just be gay. Just suck the dicks as soon as you want to suck the dicks, sir. Please, for the for the love of God, listen to me. He looked like little Sammy. If you wanna, if you wanna suck a little dick, you go ahead and you, you suck a little dick, all right? <laughs> and you leave the women alone, alone completely, unless you want both. Go ahead. Do both. But if you just want dick, you leave the women alone. For the love of God. From all Atlanta women. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Lord. Nah, I just thought that was a crazy story. I got some, what else? I think I had something else that was going on here, too. I said, no, I was sucking no dick. What? <laughs> <laughs> I said, because ain't nothing wrong with sucking a little dick. If that's what you want to do. So hold on, there was another. I if thought you're a consenting adult. Hold on, there's a few little things I want to get to on here. Hold on, so just 